I see eggs and they're fertile. Bald. I'm the bald python. You gotta work for it if you want it. Oh, I didn't mean to give it to you already. What is going on guys? Andy Gabs back for another video. Oh my gosh, right. Uh, me, Kelsey, and Scarlett are going to Prehistoric Pets. So, funny thing, we went to Prehistoric Pets like two weeks ago and I made a video, but I didn't post it because I knew I was going to Japan. And then when I got to Japan, I was editing the Japan video and I deleted the Prehistoric Pets video. All of it, the whole entire thing. Like all 60 clips. I meant to move it and I deleted it by accident. So, we are gonna go back to Prehistoric Pets. You ready to go see some animals? You ready to go? Uh, again. What do you think? She's not excited, but uh, we're about to get in the car and head to Prehistoric Pets. Let's roll. I don't think there's a single time that I've ever driven up to LA or Prehistoric Pets, which is in Fountain Valley, California, that there has not been an insane amount of traffic. And it's always in like the same exact spot too. This is where the 405 and the 73 like merge together. Uh, not that far from Jay's, but check this out. Check that guy out too. But uh, yeah, tons of traffic, it never goes away. Super annoying, but we are almost there. We should be there in like 10, 15 minutes. As Kelsey said, we made it, gotta go inside, get a little wristband, and then we will go check everything out. Don't know if Jay is here today or not. Uh, I tried to DM on Instagram, he didn't respond to me yet. I guess we'll see you in a couple minutes. So we got our wristbands. Well, I don't usually wear it on my wrist. I wear it right there because the glue in them makes my wrist feel all kinds of weird. But we are inside Prehistoric Pets now, and basically I just wanna give you guys a tour, walk all the way around. Uh, I've done this once before, but it was a long time ago. It was like, I think it was last October. I think they are gonna be doing an egg cutting for some retics here pretty soon. Um, but for now, just walk around, check everything out. Right now we're all the way in the back and you guys probably recognize that spot right there from Jay sitting there with a bunch of retics, but this is the huge retic enclosure. Uh, there's quite a few of them that live in here. There's a couple right up there, some more right there, one right down there. And I think that's it. There's not as many in there as there usually is, but got a bunch of different tortoises. This is kind of like an open air bearded dragon enclosure, which I always think is pretty sweet. And then Miss Kipling from Jesse right here, just hanging out. I'm hoping uh, Jay will be able to take her out later. I'm gonna ask him if he will. And then going over to this wall, this is just like a bunch of smaller retics, uh, all stuff that I would say was produced within the last year, maybe year and a half, aside from that one right there is pretty big. Um, but let's see, right here, this is a Platinum Tiger Super Motley Female Reticulated Python, super pretty. And then the one that I like the most, definitely, there's actually two of them right here. Um, and I don't know, oh, it's a Sun Platy Super Tiger Motley Titanium. Uh, it says female, but there's two of them, so I'm assuming one female, one male, or maybe two females, but one of them has like a much lighter pattern, and then one of them has like kind of a dirtier pattern. I really like that one with the light pattern. Scarlett, are you having fun? You having fun? You are? Yeah. You like all the reptiles? You say hi? You say hi to everyone? Say hi? I promise she's having fun. You guys saw the quick smiles. Uh, so coming around the corner, we were just right over there. Coming over here, um, bunch of different stuff on this side. There's a lot of venomous stuff. So like this right here is a, uh, a Western Diamondback. These guys are actually native to California, Croatlis Aatrox. Um, I prefer, I like Croatlis Helleri the best. I think they're the coolest in my opinion, but Aatrox are definitely really pretty. Up here, it's just a normal red iguana. We got a big rhino iguana right here, just like Brian's Bella, super pretty. I love them, I hope to have one one day. Kelsey actually told me that I could get one of those one day. She approves, so maybe whenever I move and have a big house uh, that I can build a huge enclosure in, we'll get a, rhinos, a rhinoceros iguana. He has another one of my favorite snakes uh, that Kelsey actually said that I can also get we moved to New Orleans, right? She said yes. And that is this beautiful animal right here, uh, also known as a Gaboon Viper. Look at how pretty that animal is. Absolutely breathtaking, and I really do want to get one when I get to New Orleans. A uh, little tiny baby albino red iguana right there, hanging out. I like. Super pretty, Kelsey likes that one too. 
not a huge iguana fan. Um, you guys saw my buddy Alberto's iguanas not too long ago, maybe like two or three months ago. Um, they can get really big and they can be really mean. Some of them can be really nice too, but a lot of them are really mean and they have gnarly tails that'll whip the crap out of you and really, really sharp teeth that will bite the crap out of you too. There's also this really cool pond. Uh, it's got like turtles, carp, and koi in it, I think. Yellow ear sliders, red ear sliders, and I think it's carp and koi. I don't know, I'm not a huge like freshwater fish guy, so I might be wrong. And then right here is three giant uh, Asian water monitor cages. So one right here. So Kelsey just said that the rhino iguana um, spit at her, so fun fact. That right there, so it's not actually spit. They, um, they build up salt in their nostrils that they can't digest, or they can't process the salt, and they sneeze it out. So that's what that little water stuff is on the glass. Basically just salt that they sneeze out, perfectly normal. Uh, and then as I was saying, another Asian water monitor is right in here, somewhere right there in the back. But definitely cool enclosures, big water features that they can get in and kind of swim around. Uh, the third one, oh he is there. Third one, I don't know if you guys can see him too good. He's up on the top, kind of hard to get a good angle of him. This is the new half of the zoo. I guess you could call it, this wasn't here, like, I don't know, they probably opened it almost two years ago now, I would say, um, but it didn't used to be here. So now we're gonna go walk around and show you kind of the, the old part of the zoo. And then like I said, I think Jay's gonna be doing an egg cutting right here in a little bit. Uh, so hopefully we'll catch that while we're here too. Okay, so now we are all the way at the other side of the older part of the zoo. This is kind of just all like normal size, I mean not normal size cages, some of them are really big, but all just cages with all kinds of different stuff in it. Uh, obviously big green iguana right here. His name is Jolly Green. Uh, got some olive pythons right there, a big green anaconda, a retic, some radiated tortoises, uh, another big green iguana hanging out up there. And going over, so yeah, you guys can see it's kind of just all cages on, on this left side and then a little bit further down on the right side too. There's a green tree monitor right here who's trying to escape it seems. Hey bro Chach. What's up buddy? Tortoises, boas, another big rhinoceros iguana. This one is huge. I think it's a big male. Ooh, I don't know if you guys just saw that. He just like kind of stepped at me a little bit all kinds of stuff along this whole wall. Iguanas, there's bearded dragons, uh, snakes. There's a really cool diamond python right here too. Super pretty diamond python. My mom actually was in Australia recently, or like somewhat recently, within the last year, and she sent me a picture of uh, a diamond python, and she was like, hey, do you know what this snake is? We just found it. So like they were just trekking around Australia in the wild and found a wild diamond python. I thought that was pretty sweet. Um, she obviously had no idea the significance of what it was. Diamond pythons are relatively expensive in the, uh, in the trade. Right here, this is a lot of smaller lizards, smaller snakes, and bugs. Um, you know, not a big bug guy. I think you guys probably know that by now. I had a little meltdown with a vinegaroon scorpion the last time I held it, but I did actually do it. Let's see if I can show you guys if there's any of the tarantulas that are actually out. You guys can see that one over at the right of the screen. That's a Mexican red knee. Uh, there's one right here too. This is a baboon tarantula. Um, obviously I can't speak from experience, but I've heard the bite from one of these is not fun at all. This is a Venezuelan sun tiger tarantula. I'm not sure where it's at. Oh wow, it's right there. You guys see that? Right there. Scary. That's pretty much the whole entire place. Uh, we are just waiting for Jay to get here at the moment. I did get word that he is coming, so we will get him. Uh, but this is like a cool little area right here. Once Jay gets here, he's gonna be doing an egg cutting from what I've been told, so we will stay and watch that. Uh, and then maybe we'll get him to take something cool out, maybe a scorpion, so I can try to not pee my pants. And uh, yeah, we'll just see whatever he wants to do. We're just gonna kinda hang out for the next hour, wait for him to get here and have some fun with some random animals. I see eggs and they're fertile. That being said, this girl is doing a fabulous nice. job. She's absolutely gorgeous.
32. 32 awesome eggs. Yeah. All right, so that was super cool, pulling the clutch of eggs. Uh, but now he's got a clutch of what I'm going to assume is ball pythons? Ball pythons. Not bulb pythons, ball pythons. I'm the bald python. This is the ball python. <laughs> so this one has literally cut its egg so many times that I just did your job. Wow, look at that. That is absolutely a beautiful little snake. All right, so we are done cutting eggs. Uh, we're done pulling clutches, right? No more of that. But we're gonna do some more cool stuff. But yes, we are, and um, no one's here. It's like 7.45-ish, something like that. So it's been closed for a while, but we're gonna feed some Asian water monitors, uh, some slugs that that Burmese python laid, and then he's got some chicken and some bananas too. I think uh, somebody wants it. I think somebody wants them. So yeah, gonna feed some stuff. Let's get set up real quick. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> no, it's just that, you see, he's really focused on eating. But here's the good news is, he knows what that is. You ready for that? You know what that is, right? That is a yolk. Oh, man. Ooh, that was close. There you go. So he'll chew on it for a minute, try to get it leaking. See his teeth are cutting through right on the side. And down the hatch it goes. All right, guys, so we just filmed a crazy IGTV thing for Jay's Instagram. Uh, obviously, you all more than likely know what it is, but Jay Prehistoric Pets on Instagram, and then you can go the IGTV. I don't really know how IGTV works, honestly, but I just filmed the whole video for him. Uh, but now we're going to move on, and we are going to feed... Because we're living the dream. Living the dream. We are going to feed some other Wait, stuff. Yeah, I don't know. You're going to feed some of them. Oh, I'm, I'm not going to do it at all. Okay, I'm feeding stuff. Shoot, I'm off. Okay, he's I off. I don't get paid at all, and I definitely don't get paid for overtime. That's true. So now you're gonna film for me, right? <laughs> I'm gonna watch you do some feeding. All right, let's do it. All right, guys, so we finished up shooting everything for Jay. Now I'm gonna go ahead and feed all the stuff because they've been having fun this whole time and I've just been sitting <laughs> behind the camera. Uh, so we're gonna start out, we're gonna feed this banana to this really pretty red iguana. We haven't fed this guy yet, so I'm sure he's gonna be pretty hungry. Let's see. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, he's so gentle. <laughs> You guys need to go over to Jay's channel so you can see the other iguana that we fed. Not gentle. It was a, it was an experience. This guy's just loving his little banana. His eyes are so pretty too. I don't know how well you guys can see his eyes, but they're like red and yellow and black and all kinds of cool colors. Super pretty pattern too. I'm always nervous whenever I'm feeding anything with the microphone on top of the camera. So it looks like a fuzzy little animal that everything just wants to eat. All right, let's go try the uh, the rhino iguana. You want me to close this? Nah, we're good. All right, let's try this big guy right here. Pretty rhino iguana. What did you say his name was? Uh, his name is Beckham. Beckham the rhino iguana. What do you think, bud? That was such a little piece for as big as he is. Come on. There you go. Look at how fast that is. Just like a one-two punch all the way down. Last little piece of banana, and then we gotta move on to the crazy guys. There you go. Look at those bands. He is beautiful and he loves to be petted. Look him. Beckham is just like. Look, it closes the eyes, perches up, perches the tail up. He is a love, loves love. Now he's all full on bananas. He probably wants to take a nap. <laughs> all right, but now we're gonna move on to feeding the big monitor lizards. Let's do it. We got all kinds of food there. We got chicken and a python egg, right? Two python eggs. All right, let's do it. So, see this guy? Hey, come on. Come on. You gotta work for it if you want it. Up, up, up. Up. There you go. Now he doesn't know what to do. He's kind of confused. He barely has it. Yep. But he's, he's scared like, it's gonna get away. Like, I'm gonna go ahead and take this back over here. He still thinks it's live, but now he's got it whooped. Look at him chow it down. Oh, he's a happy camper. I will bet he'll eat another one instantly. Let's what do go. you think? Yeah, I got him an egg this time. Let's see if he's gonna take the egg. He's already had a couple, but let's see if he wants this one too. He's giving me crazy eyes. Yep, he took it. Oh, let go. There you go. Whoa! He dropped the egg and he's on he us. He came back. He wanted the uh, he wanted the tongs. Look at now he wants the microphone. He's like, oh, what's that? <laughs> That's right, exactly what he's chicken. thinking. He's looking at that microphone like, mmm, sushi. All right, here we go. Another piece for him. Let's go. Come over here. Come on. Come on. Over here. You can do it. Stop on the tongs. 
20. Up, up, go up. Come up for it. Oh, I'll give in. It's too cute to torture with it. So cool. I think this is the first time I've ever fed a big Asian water monitor. Fed the little guys before, but never big ones like this. Oh, yeah. He got it sideways. He T-boned it. <laughs> there it goes. It's gone almost. Almost gone. As soon as it turns, it's going to be gone instantly. Look at how smart he is, too. He uses Ooh. the ground to turn it. That's crazy. All right, so moving on, switch it up a little bit. Got a nice, big, juicy rat. I'm going to see if this, the Philippine monitor, wants it. Jay said we can name him uh, Lumpia as long as his fans agree with it. Come on, bud. Come on. Come on. Oh, I didn't mean to give it to you already. There you go. Play a little tug of war. There you go, bud. So I think we're gonna let this guy go ahead and uh, get his meal down. Kind of a big meal for him, so I think he's gonna sit here and play it around and shred it up a little bit. Uh, so are we feeding anything else? Ah, uh, well why not? I think you ought to probably grab another egg and get that, get this guy another egg. All right, let's get him another egg. Since he lost his other piece of chicken too. Oh, did he? We gotta get it out. I think so. Maybe he grabbed it though. Oh, oh no, he swallowed it. Did he? Yeah. All right, there you go. Well, that's an egg. See if he'll squeeze this one up. Get all the nice juice oh, out of it. That's nope. Gone. Straight down the gullet. Give him, go ahead and give him another piece of chicken for good luck for the road. All right. One more piece of chicken for this guy. Can I make him go uh, in the water for it? Uh, sure. It's all a right. little bit hard, but. Yeah, let's see if I can do it. Come on, bud. Over here. Over here. Get in. Get in. He's like, it's, it's late. You're not supposed to swim until 30 minutes after. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Go for it. Well, because don't you look on the internet? It's 30 minutes after meal, bro. Don't make me do it. Come on, Goofy. All right, fine. You can have it right there. There you go. You're going to clean the glass with it. Super cool. And we still got this, uh, the, what is it, rhino iguana? No, Cuban. rock iguana? Cuban? Cuban rock iguana. Cuban rock iguana sitting over oh, here. Oh, that was good, wasn't it, buddy? Mm-mm-mm. Mm-mm-mm. He enjoyed that. He definitely did. And we still got this guy sitting right here on the ground. He uh, he kind of jumped out earlier and he's just been exploring ever since, cleaning up all the pieces of banana that we dropped earlier. All right, guys, so that's pretty much all I got here at Prehistoric Pets with Mr. Brewer. Thank you so much for having me. Hope you had a good time. And for the uh, VIP treatment that we got after because you have been closed for like two hours now just hanging out and feeding stuff. We're going to so, put your video up there on, on my page. Yeah, so my video for him, which is kind of like this video, but a lot more in his, is going to be up on his page, so go check that out. And then uh, he'll be linking me in his video. I'll be linking him in my video. And, and uh, we're going to all be, be living the dream, so you guys get out there and make your life happen and whatever that is. Go chase it with all you have. So thank you guys, I appreciate it. Please like this video if you liked it. Comment something down below. Subscribe if you're not already subscribed and turn the notification bell on. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Peace out.